Hello and welcome back to the Blush Studio. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make these beautiful wax seals using a melting spoon. To do this yourself, you're going to need a wax seal stamp. I'm using my C initial from my collection. I'll have that link down below, but you can use any stamp that you like. As well as a uh, melting spoon. So I am using one that is specifically designed for wax. It has the handles to rest it on the candle and then this linen cover to help protect your hand. But you can use any metal spoon. I've used a teaspoon in the past and it's worked fine. You'll need some wax, of course. I'm using these wax seal beads that are specifically designed for this method. But you can also use some sealing wax sticks, like what you would stick in a glue gun, and you'll just need to trim them down. Of course, you'll need a candle to heat up that wax, and some ice, so a bag full of ice. I like to put a little bit of water in there so that my seal can get chilled really quickly. So once you have everything collected, you can see I already have my seal resting on my bag of ice. This is to cool it, and it just speeds up the process. Let's get started. All right, to start, I'm just gonna pop two of those beads into my spoon, and I'm placing it over the candle itself. As you can see, I really love how the handle, the extended handle on either side, allows me to be hands-free while this is melting. Um, each bead is designed to create one one-inch wax seal, but I like to have at least one other extra in there just to help push the wax forward, because there will be some wax left over in your spoon um, before you're done. So just as a word of caution, I found that this candle was a little bit too hot and before I poured every time I usually had to cool it off a little bit. So when you're looking at my candle as an example, I recommend finding one that has melted a little bit more or using one that isn't quite as close to your melting spoon and your wax. So those bubbles that show up, that's not what you want. That's a sign that your wax is just a little bit too hot. All right, now let's place it on our envelope. So after I've allowed it to cool just a little bit, you see how it's coming down slowly? That's kind of what I'm going for. I want it to be nice and slow. Um, that way it's not going to kind of melt the paper underneath and it won't get bubbly. Just pouring that down. That little spin method just helps me to get the wax off a little cleaner. And before I place my seal down, because it's just been chilled and there's that condensation, I do like to dab it off either on just a regular towel, or this time I used the cheesecloth that I already had laid down next to my envelope. Because it was chilled, that was really fast, just settling, and we have a beautiful, perfect seal using our spoon. As simple and beautiful as that is, a melting spoon will actually give you the ability to not only create beautiful seals, but also to recycle old seals that didn't quite turn out right. You just pop those into your uh, melting spoon right over the flame. You can also create a beautiful marbled effect using your melting spoon just by simply popping two different colors of wax into your spoon itself. Um, and then just really even just the method of applying will mix it together and create this beautiful marbled effect. If you would be interested in seeing a few pouring techniques to achieve different marbled looks for your wax seals, then leave the comment, uh, more marbled wax seals in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to create a dedicated video just for that. Hope you found this wax seal tutorial helpful. And if you're interested in more, I do have another video that has even more tips specifically about using a glue gun to create your seals. I'll have that link down below. And until next time, happy stamping.